Kristoff. He's standing right. Hi gamers, I recently just got back from vacation. I went to Florida to visit some family and we went to Key West for a little bit. And we also made an impromptu stop at Universal Studios. Uh, spent a lot of money. I'm gonna show you everything that I got over the whole trip. Not everything, I don't know where some things are. We just recently got back and haven't like <laughs> settled in quite just yet, but I have I think all of the stuff from Universal and most of the stuff, or at least the stuff that I'm really excited about from Key West. So I'll show you all of that. I'm going to start with Universal because I know that's going to be the most exciting part of this. I'm sitting on the floor of my living room, by the way. That's why there's canvases and chairs and dogs walking around. So I apologize for that. Starting in Universal, they had like a little sneak peek preview of some of the Halloween merch that they're going to have this year. And it is like, and it is going to be like classic Universal monster themed. So we walked in there, had a little little look around. I saw some posters. I'm not sure if the posters are Halloween merch, but they're still really cool. So I got one for me and one for my sister. I got this really cool classic Phantom of the Opera poster. I'm going to hang it up in my living room. I love Phantom of the Opera and this is just sick. And I got this one for my sister who has an obsession with Creature of the Black Lagoon. I thought she had one of these but she didn't so I sent her a picture said hey do you want this? I'm trying to get you something from Universal because we'd never been. It was my first trip. She's never been. So I went ahead and grabbed this for her because she told me that she didn't have one. Also I'm like trying to hurry up because I have to go to work soon. <laughs> So like, if you could see my eyelash glue or anything, it's because I just finished my makeup. I'm trying to film this as fast as humanly possible. Moving on to pins. I got a lot of pins. Most of them are Harry Potter. I got a little Slytherin one. If you can see him. I'm a Slytherin and I messaged my little sister and asked her what class she was so I could get her something, how she was so I could get her something as well. I couldn't, I didn't really know what to get her. Um, I haven't been able to hang out with her recently enough for me to like really know what she's super into so I didn't want to like spend a lot of money on something that she wasn't gonna love. So I went ahead and I got her a Slytherin one because that's what how she said she is. She's not. She's not a Slytherin. But she said she was so I got us matching pins. I lost mine so I only have the one to show you. Mine is like somewhere in my suitcase. Uh, I also got one of these but Hufflepuff for my best friend back in Florida. Uh, again, don't know where it is. I thought I gave it to her, but I forgot that I didn't get to give it to her before we left Florida. But she got a Hufflepuff one and I got two Slytherin ones. This one is for me and it is fluffy. I am obsessed with Cerberus. I love Cerberus, not technically like fluffy from Harry Potter. I just love Cerberus. One of my favorite like mythological creatures. Love him, good boy. Also, disclaimer, I know that that JK Rowling is a turf. I know, this was my first trip to Universal and I just really wanted to get some stuff and I'm one of those people that's like, she's gonna be mad rich either way. I don't support her, but I want some things. Please. So please don't come for me for that. I also got this pin for my little sister as well. This one is really cool. It's a chocolate frog and it actually opens up and has the chocolate frog in it. Sorry, the light's kind of insane. But again, for my little sister, uh, thought she would like it and I didn't just want to get her like one tiny little pin. So got her that one as well. Go. I also got some potions. I'm gonna like use these as decoration. So I got the Felix Felicis Fel Fel one, which is really, really pretty. This doesn't do it justice, but it's got this micro glitter in it. So it's kind of sparkly. So I'm probably gonna fill it with like baby oil and then some more micro glitter or something and just use it as decoration after I drink it. This potion was leaking. So it is in a Ziploc bag. I didn't want to just have it like raw dogging my suitcase. Oh, it's, it's gross. Oh no, it leaked everywhere on the flight. I'm just gonna like 
quickly show it in the bag because it's like immediately gonna go and get washed up. It's the love potion one. Can you not? Oh my girlfriend's in. It's the love potion one. It's gross. I think those are like the little things for Harry Potter that I got. We did also each get wands. We got interactive wands. They were $60 each. And they're actually really fun to use, but they're so pretty. So we're gonna use them as decoration. And if we ever go back to Universal, we'll obviously bring them and continue using them. But the boxes are really pretty and the wands themselves are beautiful. So this is the one that my girlfriend got. She got a character wand. I didn't really want a character wand but she really wanted this one because she loves the design of it. This is Hermione's wand. So it's got the vines on it. And they do come with little maps with all of the interactive features around the Harry Potter park. So you can kind of have a little like hacker, hacker, little helper. Hi. Hi. This was my wand. I got the Ash wand. They have like little things that tell you like which type of wood fits your personality best. And this one didn't fit my personality best, but I thought that it was the prettiest. So I went ahead and got it. So this is the ash wand. It also has little vines. They're more like leaves wrapping around it. And that's the handle. And these are both interactive ones. So they have the little ends on them. Just really pretty, 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 pretty. We did only go to one park uh, and we went to the one with Diagon Alley in it. We wanted to also go to the other Harry Potter park as well as Jurassic Park, but it just wasn't in the, we just didn't have a lot of time and we didn't want to spend extra, like that much extra money to only spend like a little bit of time in each park. So we would rather spend one day in one park and get like the full experience there. However, they did have a Jurassic Park shop in that park that we were at and i'm a big old big old baby for dinosaurs specifically triceratops so we got a couple things i got a couple things from there first we go camping a lot so i got this old jurassic world camping mug it's just a little camping mug with jurassic world on it i wish it said jurassic park I'm not a huge fan of the newer movies. I still love them because they're part of the Jurassic lineage, but you know, whatever. And I also got this little keychain. Focus. Hello. That works. It's a Triceratops. It's just a little Triceratops keychain. It's got two layers on it so the triceratops kind of pops out a little bit nothing too exciting just a little triceratops keychain and the last thing that i got universal they had some pride stuff there because we went during pride month naturally because queer i got one just realized that my camera was really dirty Love is Universal mug, it's red on the inside, it's really cute, and a certain percentage of the proceeds went to a foundation that helped with the aftermath of the Pulse shooting, which is very important to me and my girlfriend. So I was happy to buy this and give them some money. <laughs> it's just really cute and simple. I love the like kind of classic retro logo for Universal. It's cute. And it's not something that screams like, this is from Universal. It's just like, gay. That's it for all of the Universal stuff that I got. If you wanna stop watching, I completely understand. But I have a couple other things that I wanna show you. So before we even went to Key West, like the day that we landed, uh, I got food with my best friend and my girlfriend went to go see her family and they like went shopping and stuff and she got us a couple things for our home one of them being this little boo she got me this little boo i love boo with my entire heart so she got me this cute little boo Kristoff. along with the dragon ball z theme she got this this is for her uh it's piccolo and it's a pin 
Piccolo is probably our conjoined favorite character. We do have a figure of him. He's back there. We both love Piccolo, so that was a good purchase. Another boo thing for me is this fucking magnet. This huge magnet with him holding B. I love B. When I saw B all grown up, I cried and I'm not ashamed of that. I love this. We saw it at Think Geek once and we were like, oh, we really want that. And we just didn't buy it at the time. But she saw it and she was like, I'm getting it this time. I don't know where all of this is from, where she specifically bought it, but you can buy it at Think Geek. Then we actually got Key West. I didn't buy a whole lot of things there. Um, but there is a bar that I've been going to since I was born that sounds really bad but we would go and eat. Obviously I wasn't drinking alcohol at a bar as a two year old. But this time I was actually allowed to drink. I'm legal, I'm 22. It's the first time I've visited since I became the legal drinking age. So we got drinks, I got to live out my destiny and the bar is Hog's Breath. And every time we go, we get a shirt from Hog's Breath. I have several Hog's Breath shirts. This one technically is for kids. But that's not gonna stop me because I wanted a tie-dye one and they didn't have a tie-dye one for adults. So I got just an extra large kids one and it fits me perfectly. It says Hog's Breath. Key West established 1976 and their slogan is Hog's Breath is better than no breath at all. If you're ever in Key West, I recommend going there. They have really good drinks. Uh, I got a pina colada. Oh my God straight rum. Unless you want a pina colada that does not taste like a pina colada, don't get the pina colada. Now, Key West has a butterfly conservatory and it is run by an artist who gets the dead butterflies. There's no violence. Everything dies naturally. He collects the dead butterflies and he makes art with them. And he owns this butterfly conservatory and was able to have these butterflies there just for making art. So I love collecting bugs. I have several butterflies from this conservatory already. I have one, two, three, four, five. Got five on our living room wall right there. And this time I decided to go buck wild and get three more. Technically four. This one I let my girlfriend pick. It was the first day that we went. And I could only afford one because my paycheck hadn't hit and I didn't want to be like dirt poor the rest of the trip until my paycheck hit. So me and my girlfriend both picked this one together. It's really pretty. They do have papers when you buy them um, that come with like all the information about the butterfly, where it's native to, its science name, and there's a little signature for the artist right there. So I, I haven't seen this one there actually before. I haven't seen the green and the blue and the purple, but it's really beautiful. And then we went back and you can go into the gift shop without actually going into the greenhouse where the butterflies are. First time we went, we went into the greenhouse, saw the butterflies. Second time, obviously we didn't need to again, but I highly recommend going there to see the butterflies. They also have birds in there. There's some flamingos in there. This is the second one. I really love butterflies with long tails like this. Really beautiful. Again, artist signature in the back. These are acrylic cases and technically they tell you that you should put them in your carry-on if you're flying with them. I've put them in my suitcase. They come with bubble wrap on them. I wrap a shirt around it or something and they're usually fine. These cases are really sturdy. You can also buy butterflies from them on their website. You don't actually have to go. So if you like this style, I'll link the conservatory in the description in case you want to look. I think the prices are really fair. A one butterfly like this is 35. So they also have moths. They have cases with like several butterflies it can go up to like five thousand dollars for a huge one with like hundreds of butterflies but i highly recommend uh, checking out the website in case you don't plan on going to key west anytime soon but you want one of these uh, the little paper that they come with also comes with care instructions and they give you a little screw for the back for it to actually sit on 
same rules as most other insects. Keep it out of direct sunlight so that the color doesn't fade, blah, 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 blah. You can tell that they really care about the art and they want you to have the best experience with it and really enjoy it for a really long time. Last but not least are these guys. These are the same specimen. That's wrong. These are the same species. And I think one is a male and one is a female. The one up front is more blue and the one in the back is more brown. This uh, double one comes for like, I think it was 55 for the two of them. They're so pretty. I'm so happy about these. That is everything that I could find that I could show you for now. I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> um, yeah, I love Key West. It's one of my favorite places in the world. If you ever get the chance to go there, definitely do it. It's a beautiful little island. It's like the southernmost point of America. You can have, you're 90 miles from Cuba. It's amazing. And I had a really, really good time at Universal. I'm so happy my girlfriend got to take me there. I'm so grateful that she took me there. We had a really fun time. Saw lots of children screaming because they were scared of the dragon went on a couple of rides. We had a really good time and I'm happy with our purchases and I hope you enjoyed seeing those purchases. I'll have all of my social media somewhere on screen in the description, whatever. If I can link the Butterfly Conservatory and you are interested in that, please support them. They do amazing work and the artist is amazing. Yeah. And I can promise you that you will be happy with the quality of the butterflies. If you want to know the prices for anything, and I didn't say it because I don't think I said the prices for anything except for the butterflies, just let me know if you have any questions. All that good stuff. Leave me a comment. Subscribe. Like. Normal YouTuber stuff. I hope you have a good day. Stay hydrated. <laughs> Bye.